Start doing a test video with my audio and it looks like it's recording right now so should be good to go all right what's going on guys um shaman jay the light yeah anyway let me go ahead and go and get into this thing here uh, the program is called blue glitch and i already got stuff set up because i had did the video earlier and it didn't work the way i wanted to so you, when you're using blue glitch I just throw this out here first. Well, actually, let's look at this. This is how it looks. And these are the different things that it does. Like for this particular one, I'm going to use tape stop. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, we're going to look at the different ones and I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do a different, show different ones. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you go ahead and hear the beat. It's a really simple beat. It's something from the eighties, just that style or whatever. So, uh, let's go ahead and play it. Now you're gonna see this move, but it's not gonna be affected, and, I'm, and you're gonna see why in a minute. Let's go back to the very beginning. You see the move right there, but nothing's being done to it. Yeah, nothing's being affected right now. Technically, this effect is turned off. Now you, now you see it. All right. So when you set this up, guys, it's important that you give it a automation clip. All right. To make an automation clip, you can make an automation clip from anywhere. You can go here and make an automation clip. But we're going into the to master. This is where I set this up at. Now, granted, you can do this for each different instrument that you have put in the mixer. But I'm just going to do it. What I've been doing is using it as a whole for the whole entire production. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just just because I, that's what I want to do for the whole song. Because you know how most people, and I've been using it for a tape stop, most people want that DJ, that, that little thing, then it started back up. So you want to create an automation. So I already did that. I'm not going to make another one. But when you do make an automation, you're going to duplicate it. You hold that shift, you hold shift and left click and make another one. And what you want to do is make it unique. You will click unique. Otherwise, it will look like that. So, yeah, so you want to make your automations like that. This automation here is actually for another one that I did towards the end. So anyways, now here's another thing. You're going to want it. It's going with the beat. So the first part, and I made it in 16. So I usually make my beats in 4-4. Four, four. You can do it in 3-4, um, 7-5, whatever. But you got to be um, cognizant of what's going on back here with glitch because if you're not doing it right glitch will still do what it wants to do meanwhile you're like yo why it ain't doing it how da -da 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 -da. so check this out what if i move this right here actually i'm gonna play it i'm gonna play it and actually I'm, while i'm playing i want you to see this automation so we're gonna start right there we're going to bring automation. Right now, the automation is turned off. So, here we go. So, you see it turn on and turn right back off. Now, what if we want to move this? You can do that. Let's see what happens. It just turned off right there. Now, what you can do, which would actually make more sense, is to leave that setting where it's at right there. And instead, now these, now I'm going to go into this. This black guy right here, black guy, is basically what turns things off. All right. So what if I turn it off? Nothing happened, but you see the automation move. So we're going to put that guy back. Now, instead... I'm going to put it right there. And you can do it in the middle. That's that's the best way to do something. Like far as these uh, instruments are concerned. Now, let's go ahead and say we want it towards the end. Let's try that. Now, something happened here. What happened? Apparently, we have to move it over a little bit more. You see that? So we can we don't actually have to stretch out the other piece because that turns it off. Once this is on, it's on. So let's go. Ahead. 
Now you notice something there, right? So apparently it wasn't far, it wasn't long enough, so we're gonna keep it going. Cause it turned right back off. Now that's starting to go into the other effect that I was gonna tell you guys about. That's what it was supposed to <laughs> My bad. I'm going to so edit this. That's what it was supposed to do. All right. So you saw that. And then it went from that into the whole, what's the face? So what we're going to do, we're going to move this back a little bit. effect so the other effect is this guy right here so and this is called reverse a reverse it does a lot of different things well it, it, it just reverses so now we're gonna go to the last one here everything is should be turned back off actually um, We'll leave it like that, okay? So let's go to the final one here. And I want you to actually pay attention to this guy. So here we go. You'll see the trigger. You, you'll see what I'm talking about when you hear it. So you hear the re-trigger. The re-trigger makes it kind of like start, 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 keep starting all over. So your re-trigger is the one that makes it kind of like stutter stuff. Then you got your reverse, then I added tape style. Now if we add these other ones into it, let's see how it will sound. You might hear like subtleties of it. So those are different ones. We already got reverse, so let's go to crush. Whoops. So yeah, those are those different things. Here, let's go to the, let's take this reversal off real quick so you can get the full gist of it. So those are different ones. That's pretty dope. If you if you set that a certain way, it, that that one's actually pretty dope. So say we put reverser back, right? Whoops. That's how that would go. delay delay kind of repeats the same thing over and over and then we'll go here to the last one stretcher it's just weird um this one here shuffler i'll let you hear it. that's weird but it it's just so many different things you could do with this guys it's so yeah there you go um in any case i'm gonna put this the way i had it before because i liked it and i thought it was pretty awesome and i'll leave it like that that's not what i had <laughs> but oh well we'll we'll throw this back on here again to make it I 
forgot about random. Let's go to random and put that right there. Random will do random stuff. <laughs> See what it does. Yeah, well, whatever. They're the same thing. But if you take it on, like put it on, then take it right back off, right back off, it'll do something else. That's whack. <laughs> it's supposed to do random stuff. That's the reason why it's random. But I don't use it, as you can tell. But for the most part, yeah. So that's about it. It's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess I'll just play this all the way through. All right. Take that back off. Take that guy off and we'll put you, put you back up front. Okay, cool. Check it out. It's called Glitch, and um, it, you can find that at uh, illform.org. I don't know what I said earlier, but it's illform.org. It's free. They actually got Glitch too, but I don't know if that's uh, freeware or not. So, um, yeah, just check it out, guys. All right, peace and God bless.